everyone this is to limitation and we are back again making another new discord.py tutorial so for today's tutorial we're going to be recreating the yak pdps would you rather command for general information this is how the yak pdps would you rather command looks like first you have the title with the bots logo then you have either and then the first choice and then or and the second choice with both doing a regional indicator a emoji and then b then you have the requested by and then the author and then you have the author's profile picture and then you have random colors and you have two mentions from which people can cho choose what they want designing the embed is very easy the only hard part and the more newer part is to get the random choices in order to get the random choices we are going to be going to either.io website so in this website we are just going to grab these grab these choices whenever there is a new one and in order to get this we are going to be doing something called web scraping and web scraping is a totally different topic so if you want to learn more about web scraping i will put a link in the description below which will redirect you to a very to a very intuitive tutorial about and basic which teaches you the basics of web scraping but anyway first we have to know how do we grab these texts so first we have to do control shift i and then you get a lot of html html codes then you have to press this little button and then hover your cursor to the back to the text and then when you have pressed it you will get the tag in which the value and which holds the value um, so it's we can see it's the span tag with the class of option text and has the and is the, it has the text of have a lightsaber the same should be with the second the second one yep okay so now we know what are what are the tags the texts we will need to learn how do we get all these values in our program so first we are going to come to our code the first thing we have to do is remove this client command. The reason why we have done it is because we want this as a as a different function, basically a hyper function. We don't want to make new commands and then just copy paste this again and again and again. We want to make it a command and then use it every time we have and use it every time we are making another new command. So we we made it into a function. Now we are going to do client.command async dev would you rather ctx and now we just we can just call out this function as test and then all this you know so before all of this so um, before we do this we have to change a few steps in our function first we will change the test to web script and then other than ctx we are going to do text and then this website is going to be the text i will keep this status but um, other than await we just want the r so text equals to r dot text uh, this is this is this variable is going to hold our text and then for else and for else you, if you want to await it it's your wish but um but one thing that i want to do is also call out different statuses in my commands so i will make another new one which is status equals to r dot status so um you don't need this we just can do this and um if you i don't really want to give egg else so yes and at last we are going to return the text variable or the text or the values of this variable text we have finished our hyper function now we are going to go back to our command we are just going to do text equals to and then a web script and then um, the website from which we have want to web script from so for us it's either dot io so let's copy it either dot io I think we need to actually await this so with the, so this variable is going to hold the entire html text of this website so from this we can so now we have to actually scrape from this from the text because 
we have a lot of stuffs and we don't want and we don't really know how to actually get those values so for this one we are going to actually download a new module which is called beautiful soup um, let's just open the terminal and then pre and then write pip install bs4 and then it's going to install it let's just wait for it all right so we have done it now we are going to actually import bs4 and and we are going to do from bs4 import the beautiful soup class so um we have it and then what we also want to do is create a variable named soup and this soup is going to have this since it's a class a bracket of parentheses and then we will need to put the text basically the one we are going to parse through and then we also need a parser uh, the best one we have is lxml and in order to use lxml we will also need to actually in order to use in order to use this parser we are going to have to Im install this one too so again if install lxml i already have it installed so it's installed all right so we have finished it now we want to get the choices from the html text for this we are going to do for every choice in soup dot find all and then what we have to find is the span tag and then the <clears throat> the span tag and now there are two ways to do it uh, to get the class one is this class parameter and then doing option dot text then there's another way which is to do bracket class which, which is to doing it by doing a dictionary so option dot text um you it's your choice what you want to do i'm going to it's really your choice what you want to do i'm going to keep it like this so um we're going to find all the span tags with the cl class option text um before this we will also need to create a list so l equals to list and now we want to append all the choices in our list um, l dot append choice dot text this dot text is if you don't really do the dot text you're just going to get the entire tag if you do dot text then you get the text itself so we have basically done it we have all the text with this one and we have that means we have all the options we have all the choices in our list so this is this is it now it's time to create the embed for we are going to do we are going to do e equals to discord dot embed now one thing to actually note is that they don't use any title they actually use set author for the logo and the text they use the log they use the set author to to set the to set their logos and the and the linked title so um, the only thing we are going to do is to set the color we have to set random colors as we have talked about it so that's how you do it there is no timestamp there is no url oh wait so we have done it now we are going to do set author and then the name of this author is going to be would you rather and then a two three dot they also made this title into a link so we are going to do url and then just put the https either dot io as they and as they have also put it like that um in order to icon url we have to put the bots url so the bots url as we have learned in our previous embed tutorial is client dot user dot avatar url so we have finished the set author all right so the author is done we are going to do add field and our first field is going to be uh, either uh, yes either dot three dots and then you have to do the value sorry the value 
the value is going to be an F string and then the regional indicator A. Now for now for some reason they have a little semicolon at the side of A but they don't have it in the B. It might be a mistake but for the sake of this code we are not going to be putting any semi any, any colons. So for this we are going to do curly bracket and then in our list the first what you know what you have to know is that the first the first value in our list is the first choice and the second one is the second choice so in order to get the first choice from the list we are going to index it to zero and we have it like this we're just going to copy paste later on oh actually we will need to inline we have to remove the inline of it so false inline it's going to break the line and the next one is going to be or three dots regional indicator B and then the second the second value of the L of the list. So we don't need to do any inline false for this. So we have finished it. Now it's time to actually react to our own embed. So for this, we are going to need to create a message variable and then send this embed first the reason why we have given the message variable is that we want to get all, we want to get all the data of this of the sent message so send embed equals to embed e actually and now we will work through this message so we are going to be working with this message in order to actually react to our own embed so for this we are going to do await message await message dot add reaction and then we have to add a reaction so we can't actually give the text regional indicator we have to actually we have to copy paste the raw emoji so for this one we will go to the emojipedia website pedia website and from here we will search any of all of our emojis so we can copy paste them raw um, for this one, we will search the regional indicator A. Regional indicator A. And then we have to search through it. We have found it. Regional indicator symbol letter A. And so we will copy paste it. We will put it in our program. And that's it. It will add a reaction to our message. Another one is going to be B. So let's... Let's... Copy paste a B. Let's actually just put it and then remove B. All right. We got the B and then we will paste it. And this is it. This is our code for the would you rather command. Let's run it to check if there's any error. Oh, and another thing that you should do is await this r.txt since this is also a coroutine. Let us call the function. And yep, it perfectly works. We have a clickable link. We have our author, the bot's URL. Now we have the bot's avatar and the random color either. And then A, this, or that and then the two mentions so yes we have finished our command we have successfully recreated the yak pdb's would you rather command thanks a lot for watching this video i hope you learned something new many more new videos are going to come soon but for newer videos to come faster i would like you guys to to actually comment down what which which command you want to get recreated and i will try my best to make a video explaining how but anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video and goodbye.